Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to tell you about security settings for a Wi-Fi router and how to secure a Wi-Fi network from unauthorized access. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Many users neglect to configure their network security settings, believing that their network is of no interest to anyone. So why would an intruder try to access it? Unfortunately, this is a false assumption. Proper security settings can protect you from identity theft as well as from unintended damage caused by other users of your network. Out of curiosity, they may change the settings, which interrupts its normal operation and even can leave you stranded offline. That is why we recommend checking your security settings right now. I will show you how to configure router security settings with the example of a popular model, TP-Link AC750 Archer C20. However, almost all routers have similar functionality, so this guide will be useful for other devices as well, the only difference being the settings menu. For ordinary users, completing a few steps would be enough. Change the name and password required to access the router settings, change the Wi-Fi password and disable WPS, protecting the router with a password. The first thing to do is to change the default password, protecting access to the router settings. Such password will prevent strangers from gaining unauthorized access to your router. So when you change the default password, no one else will be able to connect to the Internet or modify network settings. To make changes to the router's name and password, connect to this device by Wi-Fi or cable and open a browser to enter its network address. The router's network address is given on a sticker on the bottom of the device. 192.168.11, 192.168.01, and so on. In this window, type the username and password. By default, they are admin and admin. If you do everything right, the screen will show you the settings menu. Go to the tab System Tools and find the password line. You will have to give the previous username and password and then enter the new data and click Save. That's all. The password for accessing the router has been modified. We have completed the step 1 in security settings, so let's move on. Set in a password for Wi-Fi. The second important step is to set a password for accessing your Wi-Fi network. It will prevent strangers from connecting to this network. Many people believe this option is unnecessary and so they leave their networks open to anyone. However, by connecting to your network, other users can use torrent clients to download content or play online games which eats up the traffic and puts extra pressure on your router. In its turn, the router may freeze and stutter. The connection speed and quality will deteriorate a lot. To change the password, go to the tab Wireless, look for Wireless Security and change the password. Don't use simple passwords consisting of 8 digits 1 or 0 or digits from 1 to 8. Think about a reliable password having both capital and lowercase letters, digits and special symbols. Write down the new password, just in case you may forget it. You can watch another video in our channel for a detailed coverage of Wi-Fi setup. Disable the WPS function The third step is to disable the WPS function. This function allows connecting to a wireless network quickly and without a password. In real life, it is rarely used and, as it is too vulnerable to hackers, I recommend disabling it. To do it, go to the tab Wireless, open WPS and click here to disable it. Hide the network name. Hide your network from the eyes of strangers. There is a special function in the router settings to help you hide the network. When you turn it on, other devices will no longer see your Wi-Fi. 
In order to connect, they will have to give not only the password, but also the network name, also known as SSID. You can enable this function in the wireless network settings by unchecking the box next to Enable SSID Broadcast. Other devices won't be able to see it, and from a Windows 10 computer you will see a hidden network among other networks. If you try connecting, you will have to enter the network name SSID and then the password. Only if everything is right, then you will be able to connect. From a smartphone, this network is just invisible. In order to connect, you should go to Wi-Fi settings and create a new network. Then give the network name, SSID and the password. Before we continue, a short joke. A press release. Yesterday, for the first time, a hacker was convicted of network penetration and went to jail to serve a 12-year sentence. According to the data of the central computer of the police, the hacker goes to liberty the day after tomorrow because of expiration of the sentence. The next stage is filtering devices by their MAC addresses. MAC address is a unique identifier of a device as every gadget has its own MAC address. In the router settings, you can add MAC addresses of the devices which are allowed to connect to your network. When this function is enabled, only devices which are on this list can connect. Alternatively, you can list the devices for which access should be blocked. This is a most efficient way to protect your router, but it is only suitable for organizations with a specific number of users. For a home network, Though you will have to connect new users by entering the router settings and adding their MAC addresses, which is not too convenient. To enable this option, open Wireless MAC filtering, which you can find in the Wireless Settings tab. Click Enable and check the box next to Deny the station specified by any enabled entries in the list to access, or Allow. Then add MAC addresses of such devices. Upgrading firmware. Another important aspect you have to take into account when configuring security settings is making sure your router has the latest firmware. It will fix errors and patch possible vulnerabilities that may give strangers a foot in the door to hack your network. The guide to firmware can be found here in the settings. Options to upgrade firmware, specialized software, are usually somewhere in the system tools. You can download the latest package from the official website of the router's manufacturer specified here. Before downloading the firmware, you should verify the hardware version of your device. If you install firmware for a different version, it can damage the device or even make it inoperable. You can find the hardware version on a sticker on the bottom of the router. Choose a file and give the path to the firmware you have downloaded, and then click Upgrade. After the process is over, the router will reboot automatically. Disabling remote access. The next thing to configure is remote access. If you have remote access function enabled, but you don't use it, turn it off. Because such function lets anyone access your router via the Internet from any other device. In other words, any user knowing your router's IP address, WAN address, can access its settings. In order to disable this function, go to the tab Security, Remote Management and type zeros in the IP line. By default, this function is disabled. To enable remote access available to anyone, the IP address should look like this. 255.255.255.255. Choosing operation time. In some models, you can set up an operation schedule. For example, you don't use the network at night, so you don't want someone else to connect either. This can be done in one of the two ways – by turning the router off, pressing the corresponding button or setting up the schedule for its work. To do it, open the tab Access Control, go to Schedule and click Add New. In this window, you can specify days and time when you want the router to operate and confirm your choice by clicking Save. Filtering by IP address If you need to restrict Internet access for certain computers within the network, Use the ARP function. Binging by ARP protocol is a convenient function to control access for computers within a local network. To set up this filter, you should assign a static IP to every computer connected to the network. 
For a Windows 10 computer, open Settings, Network and Internet, Network at Sharing Center. Click on your network and choose Properties. Open IP version 4. Check the box next to Use the following IP address and specify it, as well as the subnet mask and default gateway. To connect the IP address of a computer to a certain MAC address and make sure that other computers don't use this address, enable ARP binding function in the router's settings by visiting the tab IP and MAC binding. After that, create a new entry, type the MAC and IP addresses, check the box next to BIND and click Save. In the ARP table, you will see all bound devices. Now, if someone else's computer, which is not on the list, sends a request to establish connection, access will be denied. Checking for strange devices in the list of clients connected to the router. If you notice that the amount of your traffic has reduced considerably or you doubt that the router works properly, check it for any odd devices that might be connected. And that is all for now. I hope you liked this video. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!